This is true when it comes to medical matters, psychological matters, emotional matters, personal matters. Obviously, the closer to home it is, the harder it is sometimes to go and reach for help. There's shame involved, there's pride, there's minimizing denial, saying I could solve it on my own. So, uh, you could help someone that can help themselves. But I will say the good news is this. That I think is also good news, but the better news is this. I've seen my own experience in my life. Just, I've seen literally people who initially may have been very close, but something opens up. If it's said in the right way, people open up a bit, and then they open up more. And maybe they may struggle, they may uh, kick and scream, but if done right, you could end up uh, opening up a lot of channels, even though initially you may have seen the person is blocked. So I would say there's no such thing as a person that's completely blocked. You can't force anyone, but you have to try. You knock on the doors, you do it with kindness, with gentleness, this approach, that approach. In other words, there's always an opening, but it has to come with love. You start confronting people. Who are you to confront? They get defensive, pride, shame, all the other factors. So I have no doubt that everybody can be reached. If you're not reaching them, maybe you have to do the exact opposite of what your temptation is to do. Your temptation is to, is to um, grab, them by, grab them and, and uh, wring them in the neck. No. The, maybe what you have to do is, the, is restraint. Pull back, let someone else talk to them, and show them. And, and show them, and open them, and channel, and so on. Objectivity is something that takes time. And most importantly, you have to give a person fresh air. And sometimes the person who wants the other person to listen to an objective person may be part of the problem. Because they keep seeing your demands, what you want, you keep on putting that much pressure, it just closes them up from hearing anybody. As you keep telling them, go to an objective person, that alone blocks them from going because they have a battle with you. So maybe sometimes you have to exercise the opposite, restraint, and do that, the exact counterintuitive thing that you want to do. Show kindness, even in face of adversity and so on. And that often allows at least an environment where the person may be receptive to hearing someone instead of just being embattled and constantly defending themselves and having to deal with attacks and so on, critique.